What's happening, YouTube? It's K Mega 405 Live from the 405. Well, I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers out there. So, you know, I, I've I've been really excited about E3. I'm always excited about E3. Last year, not so much because I was paying attention to too many leaks. So when I was watching the press conferences, there were so many games that were leaked out. It, it was really, really, really just, it was underwhelming to me. But this year, I stayed away. I was dodging, boy. I was dodging. Every time I seen something, somebody was sending me something or whatever, I just stayed away. I wanted to be surprised I wanted to get that that feel back and I definitely have have had a great time uh, watching E3 and all the press conferences I will get into full detail about EA Bethesda and Ubisoft's uh, conferences um, in another video and I will get into more detail about Microsoft's uh, conference as well but right now I want to primarily stick with Sony and what I seen last night well look there's no question that Sony is a powerhouse and there are going to be people that's going to be objective regardless and they're going to say Sony won because it's Sony um, but in all actuality in, in, in being real about the situation Sony did not win E3 not this year it wasn't even close I was listening to some YouTubers after the Sony press conference and they were coming out taking shots at Microsoft saying it was dog shit saying that there was no games there's no exclusives there's no this there's no that Scorpio basically won uh, Microsoft's conference uh, if, if anybody would say that or said that that was the only thing that saved their conference was because of the whole Scorpio announcement listen Sony first 15 minutes of the show was absolutely stellar it was off the chain. I was like, oh, they have an answer for Microsoft. They're going to just show games. They must have games pulled in. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, it just came to a screeching halt. Then on top of that, with the games, there was no dates except for like one or two. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, listen, it's bad enough that Sony gets away with this all the time. They'll show you games, they'll show you games, and they don't give you a actual date. They just show you the game. People get hyped up for it, start crying, start getting all emotional, and then you're still, three years later, still wondering where the hell that game is, or you've already forgot about it. Then you got these dramatical-ass fanboys. Look at this. Look at this. See, that's the big problem of a fanboy, when reality and perception is all just gone I just lost 75 exclusives the most in PlayStation history when you know 69 of those bitches are gonna be indies if not let's say 65 will be indies and speaking of indies where were the indies this year you know PlayStation was synonymous of saying that the little guy needs to have their moment in the Sun that they need to be out there and presented at E3 I guess until VR comes out and then VR is the forefront and then I guess they told the indie guys sorry don't let the doorknob hit you where the dog should have bit you damn that's just cold blooded just a damn shame really indies were the the focal point it's been the focal point it's been one of the biggest the, the biggest points that this is why Microsoft you know that they, they don't care about the little developer but then all this was was about VR there was no little developer addressed and that's sad plus the fact that we didn't even get really true release dates of when these games were coming out I mean look I've already showed you one clip but look at this Xbox shows you that their that their games are coming in 2017 or they have a date. PlayStation steadily has one to two. One to two dates. All the rest is in development. So you don't even know. Like you was over there screaming about Spider-Man. Spider-Man might not come out until 2018, 2019. I'm thinking that's when the movie comes. They showed a trailer. It looked good, but that was it. And oh my God, Crash Bandicoot, right? The, the, the whole Crash sensation. And they do a troll and show Skylanders. Show a little toy. Now, of course, the cool thing about it is that they're going to do a remake for Crash 1, 2, and, and uh, uh, Vortex, basically 3. But it's still owned by Activision. 
So are those games going to actually be a PlayStation first or are they actually going to be an exclusive? That's yet to be determined. You know what I'm saying? Anything can change. With these games going to be in the that's not even in development yet. This is just in the talks. That's just telling you that anything could happen and that game might not be shown until 2018, 19, 20. Oh my goodness. It it's it's just sad. It's, it's really sad. And then, like, you know, they, the show went to the whole VR. And I'm not a fan of the VR thing. It's just not something that I'm, I want to invest my money into. But they only showed one game to really actually show its power. And I'm not really that impressed by it. Now, of course, they showed Resident Evil 7, which was a PT ripoff completely. Damn, Capcom. Really? But... And that's not an exclusive. That's just on PlayStation First. That was another thing that was really crazy. That was another thing that was crazy. And then, like, okay, <laughs> when they showed Call of Duty, I guess, to get the crowd raised up. And then only thing Call of Duty did was just rip off of Titanfall. Like, the grappling hook with the dude and grabbing him around his neck and snapped his neck. I'm like, really, Call of Duty? Call of Duty gives no fucks. None. They're like, you know what? We'll do what we want. But speaking of all of that, where was the actual games that they showed at E3 last year or for the last two years? Like, there was no Persona 5. There was no Gran Turismo Sport. There was no No Man's Sky. There was no Wild. There was no Kingdom Hearts 3. You know, there wasn't even... I mean, they asked for a Kickstarter for Shimu, but damn, didn't have the decency to, to show us a clip of how the game is looking, how it's progressing? You're just gonna not talk about it? Damn, Yoshida wasn't even there. It was like, nah, man. You know, and then come up, you talk about Microsoft lost that conference. Microsoft won the conference and won the PR because once that damn Scorpio was presented... The stocks for the Neo went plummeting. That went to the ground, I heard. So they had other problems. That show was short. And then there was like other ripoffs. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Sony comes out with like these knockoff ripoffs, like, like Jordans, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't fool, every, you can fool a lot of people, but you can't fool everybody. Like that, that long gone, that game was like dead rising, but in a serious tone. And then like they were getting shot. Like in an ass titty nut, you know what I'm saying? Face tip fingernail, and they were just falling instantly. Like it was just I'm come on guys. Really? Really? And then when Kojima come out, right? Like I'm thinking, okay, you know, Kojima's coming out with maybe a zone of an enders type of game, or he's gonna make a shot at Konami, which I would be really happy to see that he makes his own version of of um, Metal Gear. And he comes out with man ass, dead whales, crabs, and flying people. Um, look, look, I look. I don't know. I, I'm, I, you know, what I'm saying I'm a fan of Kojima stuff, but here lately, like he's been on another level. You know, what I'm saying maybe Konami is that they, they were happy to get rid of his ass because they were like, look, man, this dude, we've kept this dude in captivity for so long that we, he's his brain is fried. Like I am not impressed with man ass, dead whales and crabs and flying people. You got to give me an explanation what the hell that means. That was that was on a whole nother level. I, I don't know. I don't know. Look, Sony's press conference was a C. It was average. And I'm thinking I'm being actually um, lenient because of the drop off and the weirdness that happened later on in the show. It was just quick. It 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 didn't have a, a it didn't have a, a a great feel to it towards the end. In the beginning, it was absolutely amazing. I was like, I was happy. I was like, Sony is actually going to do it. They're gonna they're gonna show me something, and it just fell on his face to me. Uh, but you know, I give it a C. Like to hear your comments. What did you think about any of the games or some of the games that wasn't even mentioned or brought up? Uh, what was your favorite game? You know, until the next video, guys. I'll let you later, man. Peace.